Now, with that being said, I'm going to introduce to the say, stage Eg Edgar Roman, who is from the Public Broadcast Service, and they're doing world-changing products. And let's hear from Edgar how they're changing the world. I love working for PBS. When you tell someone you work for PBS, they get instant recognition. It's a well-known, uh, recognized, and trusted brand. And uh, I like working for them, but sometimes it, we have a bit of a problem. When people think about watching PBS and getting on PBS, they reach for their TV remote control. And not so long ago, that was the case. So five years ago, we had a pretty standard data center. We hosted our websites and our apps out of there. And we had fixed network bandwidth and fixed network CPU capacity, which was fine. We controlled our own destiny. But it was a little problematic sometimes when we did worldwide premieres on TV, the operations teams and I would be sometimes be up late at night from 9 p.m. on a Sunday night, maybe till midnight until the West Coast finished their broadcast premiere. And that was creating a lot of our operational overhead for our team. PBS Today is completely, PBS Digital is completely in AWS Cloud. We host 100% of our servers and our application servers in the cloud. On a regular month, we stream over 340 million streams. We get 33 million unique visitors per month on our sites. And this one is a really interesting statistic. Almost 40% of all online video streams for children across the internet comes from a PBS Kids property. And we're actually going to increase that because yesterday we launched PBS Kids for Apple TV, PBS Kids for Android, and PBS Kids enabled our Chromecast apps. So maybe time this next time next year, that will be a larger number. So I wanted to give you a couple tips about how to move to the cloud. We didn't do it overnight. We didn't do it over a weekend. It came over a series of, of, of processes and planning and events that, that moved us into the cloud. And I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the things you want to focus on as an organization when you want to go to the cloud. So first and foremost, focus on what you do best, what your core values of your organization is. And what we are seeing with uh, PBS is that uh, a lot of this overhead, a lot of the long nights we did uh, to support our data center wasn't really helping us. It wasn't letting us focus on streaming video. It was focusing instead on maintaining the servers, keeping them up, scaling them out. So instead, we, we took off-the-shelf products uh, from Amazon. We took EC2, we took RDS, we took CloudFront, and we used them as just tools that we didn't have to maintain and manage. There's tools that we could just use without having to worry about uh, scaling them, swapping hard drives, so on and so forth. So we're using a, a number of services across the AWS suite, and those are working really well for us. And it lets us focus on either embracing the latest digital streaming technology, video technology, embracing the latest uh, iOS app technology, and not worrying about setting up replication. It's not worrying about swapping hard drive and not worrying about verifying our backups. Another thing that we came into, we found that sometimes you have unconscious biases about how do you do things. And the cloud changes a lot of those uh, mental images and mental patterns of how to, how to, how to uh, host things in the cloud. Some things don't change. For example, information security is always an important aspect, and it doesn't change in the cloud. The best practices you follow should be done in the cloud just like you do in your data center. However, for PBS, the one thing we've really embraced is the flexibility, is the scalability that the cloud gives us. So here's a typical week of number of video streams that you see across the PBS properties. You see in the morning, folks get up, maybe uh, let their kids watch a little bit of Daniel Tiger before going to school, and then you see a slight dip while people go to school and kids go to, uh, sorry, people go to work and kids go to school. And then at the end of the day, people come home, we see another spike. But you also see in the wee hours of the morning, not a lot of people are streaming the video. Some people are, but what we do to save costs in PBS Digital is we actually drop our AWS EC2 instances way down to only have online 
the needed servers to actually meet the needs of the time of day. So if you look at our AWS EC2 instances, it will match this pattern very closely. And then sometimes you get really exciting weeks. Downton Abbey, one of our breakout hits of the season last four years, those are very exciting weeks because a lot of people like to watch that. And so that red peak is 13 times the idle load and three times the normal average peak that we get on a regular week. And so we don't have to worry about scaling up because we know that's coming, people are gonna watch the streams and we can provision servers ahead of time and handle the load so that people can watch uh, high quality video in their living room however they want it. The cloud changes a lot of things and it changes the cost, your cost model. On a regular basis, as I, as I mentioned, when we launched Apple TV, Android, and Chromecast yesterday, last week I couldn't tell you how many video streams that would generate this week. So as a standard best practice, we over-provision on a regular basis anytime we do a major launch, and that's three major launches in one day. So we've doubled or maybe even tripled our server size, or the number of servers we're le leveraging in AWS, to make sure that the first impression people get of our new products are high quality, responsive, and fast uh, execution and video that they can see without any hesitation or downtime. And then, a few weeks later, maybe in July, when we know the typical patterns that kids and uh, parents will use on our apps, we'll scale down to make sure that we use just the right amount of resources and not one more than we need. And that's what you have to change on a, on a monthly or maybe even weekly basis, you have to review sort of the resources and the operational configuration you're using so that you're not spending any more than you need to, but you're spending just enough to serve your customers. And finally, don't be afraid to try new things and fail. In fact, this is how PBS Digital got in the cloud in the first place. About five years ago, we had a couple new apps that we wanted to get rolling. We said, let's try this. Let's try the cloud, see how it goes. We invested, we launched those applications, we learned and we started doing more and more and more until we hit a tipping point where we said, it makes sense to host everything in the cloud. And then we made that cutover. But had we not tried out that first app, we never would have gotten to where we are now. The, the competition for online streaming video is intense. Uh, half the Downton Abbey streams we're on mobile or set-top boxes this year, and I expect next year it's gonna be even more. Viewers are gonna be fickle, they're gonna be able to have another app that streams video right next to your PBS app, so we have to make sure we are engaging them, we're meeting them in the technology and the spaces that they embrace. Not that we embrace, but they embrace. So we're ever always pushing, and what we wanna do is our goal as PBS Digital is that when you say, I wanna watch PBS tonight, you reach for your tablet instead of your TV remote control. Finally, I want to leave you with uh, one of my favorite quotes from a pro bike racer named Greg Henderson. It never gets easier, you just go faster. To put it another way, training is like fighting a gorilla. You don't stop when you're tired, you stop when the gorilla tired. And that's what PBS Digital is doing, we're going faster and faster. Thank you.